class, um, we are going to be doing Wolf Review Set 3, Slide 6. First problem is to find the quotient. Quotient is the answer to a division problem. So we are going to take 932 divided by 6. Say it as we write it, 932 divided by 6. Remember our steps for division. Does McDonald's serve cheese burgers raw? Stands for divide. Multiply, subtract, check, bring down, repeat, or remainder. First step, divide. How many times can six go into nine? It can go in one time. Six times one is six. Nine minus six is three. I'm sorry, I multiply and then subtract it. Now I check, is my difference, the three, smaller than my divisor, the six it is, which means I went in enough times. So now I bring down, if we bring it down, we must repeat. Six goes into 33 five times. So I'm gonna put the five above the three that we brought down. Six times five is 30. I just multiplied, now I subtract. I check three again is less than six. Now I bring it down. If we bring it down, we must repeat. We get 32 as our new number to divide by. 32 divided by six is again, five. I multiply six times five is 30. Now I subtract. Two is less than six. So I know I did it right. I have nothing to bring down. So that is my remainder. Remember how we check it. We take our quotient, which is our answer, times our divisor, and add our remainder. Let's do that over here. 155 times six. Six times five is 30. I did my ones times my ones. Now my ones times my tens. 30 plus three is 33. Now my ones times my hundreds. Six times one is six. Plus three is nine. It doesn't match our dividend yet because we need to add our remainder. Now when we look, it matches the number we started with. So our answer is 155 remainder two. All right, we're gonna fill in the chart. Um, so it's minutes versus hours. So we have to start with our base, what we know. So we know that one hour equals 60 minutes, right? Okay, so here I could fill this in. One hour, this is my hours, equals 60 minutes. So remember the trick I taught you? So. I did one hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, five hours, six hours, seven hours, eight hours, nine hours, and we counted by sixes. Remember how we went six, 12, 18. I'm gonna put a little equal signs here so you don't get confused between the numbers being so close because I wrote our chart pretty big. So six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 50, and then remember, we just had a zero. It's such a cool trick with 60s, minutes, seconds. So one hour equals 60, two hours equals 120, three hours equals 180, so, so on. So here we have seven hours. Well, our seven hours answer was 420. If you weren't sure how to do it, you could have taken like 240 minutes divided by 60 because 60 in one hour. Remember when we have zeros on the end, whatever I do to one side, I can do to the other. Six goes into 24 four times. Goes in evenly, okay? So it's four hours. Let's check over on our chart we just made. Yep, we were right. But this is how you, down here, this division is how you could do it if you didn't know our simple trick. So nine hours, it's 540 minutes, 180 minutes, is three hours. This was probably difficult for a lot of you because you probably tried to do the division and all of that. Um, but you all always start with your base. What do you know? You know one hour equals 60 minutes and then go from there. Todd drove 156 kilometers today. He drove 398 kilometers yesterday. How many more kilometers did he drive yesterday? I want you to do that how many more with me, ready? How many more? Compare, subtract. So we're gonna take 398 
minus 156. I love when we have our keywords that we pay attention to and it helps us remember what to do. How many more? Compare, subtract. Five of eight, can I take away six? I sure can. Five of nine, can I take away five? I sure can, and three minus one is two. So he drove 242 more kilometers yesterday. A rectangular swimming pool, so I'm gonna go ahead and draw a rectangle. I always love to draw pictures with it. It helps with math a lot. Has a side of nine feet, okay? But the surface area equals 90 square feet. So we could do the feet squared, or we could say squared feet either way, okay? We're wondering what the length is. Now I want you to go ahead and stop. I want you to think what perimeter is, and I want you to think what area is, okay? So we know the area, but we need to find out what the length is. Well, let's do area song. Area is the total space, total space, total space. Area is the total space, the shape occupies. Multiply the length times width, length times width, length times width. Multiply the length times width to find the area. So I would take my length times my width to get my area. Well, I already have my area. So I'm gonna do nine times L for my length equals 90 feet squared, okay? I want you to think like a fact family. How can I figure this out? If I take nine times L, that doesn't work. L times nine, that doesn't work. Well, what's my inverse operation of multiplication? Inverse means opposite. What's my inverse or opposite of multiplication? It's division. When we do division, we always do the biggest number first. So we'll take 90 divided by nine. If I put the L there, that wouldn't help me. We have to use the number we have equals our length. So let's do it. 90 divided by nine. Nine goes into nine one time. It is less. If I bring it down, we must repeat because it's not just one time. So nine goes into zero, zero times. You have to go ahead and finish that out. So the length equals 10 feet. It's not 10 feet square, it's just 10 feet. Area is when we do the feet squared. All right, it's asking how many insects were measured. The line plot shows the sizes of different insects in inches. So these are the inches. So we've got one inch, two inch, three inches, one and a fourth, inch, one and a, whoops, one and two fourths inch, one and three fourths inch, Mrs. Scratch is not writing right, then two, two and a fourth, two and two fourths, two, two and three fourths. All right, but it is not really asking about the sizes. It's not saying like what the difference in the size is or anything like that. It's asking how many insects, okay? How many insects? Well, each X equals an insect, so count your X's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 insects were measured. I know line plots can be confusing. You don't really know what to use. Do you use the numbers, do you use the X's? And they, a lot of times are kind of tricky. All right, so here, what is the area? What is perimeter? Let's sing our area song again. Area is the total space, total space, total space. Area is the total space the shape occupies. Multiply the length times width, length times width, length times width. Multiply the length times width to find the area. So it is the total inside space. Remember when we do that, when we do area, we kind of put our hands up, kind of so we're doing the carpet, we're doing the walls, the paint, we're doing the inside of the space. Okay, let's do area. I mean perimeter, 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 all the way around. Let's also sing the other one. Around, around the shape we go, shape we go, shape we go, around, around the shape we go, perimeter. Add up all the sides you know, sides you know, sides you know, add up all the sides you know, perimeter. So let's sing the first one again. Perimeter, perimeter, all the way around. So it is the out 
side distance all the way around. So if you just sing your songs, you know your answer. That's it for today. I hope you did